Hello everyone, I'm Antonio Nardella, Community Manager for the IOTA Foundation. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to generate open SSH keys on a GNU slash Linux operating system. The similar procedure can be followed on macOS operating systems. We're going to use this public-private key pair to connect safely to our VPS or um, other online machines. Now, let's see how this looks like. On the right hand side, we have our uh, installation notes with the commands that I am looking for. A link to this uh, installation notes will be found below in the description. On the left hand side, I have opened a terminal to type these commands. So what I'm looking for right now is this command to generate open SSH keys. So let's go. SSH keygen dash A to select the number of rounds. So we are going to choose uh, 100 rounds. The explanation you can find right here, what it does. Dash T uh, for the type. We're going to choose the ED25519 key type. Um, also here in the description, you will find um, two links that explain why this uh, type of key is a good choice. Then with dash F, we're going to tell SSH keygen where to save these files. And for me, it's going to be in my home directory uh, dot SSH. And then I can type any name here to recognize this key. For me right now, it will be ID underscore ED25519. And then uh, the very last thing, I can add a comment. This is of course optional. And I will use my my email address. All right, let's press enter. This will now ask me for my passphrase. Be sure to use a strong passphrase to protect your private key from third party access. And let's type it again. The system will now generate my private and public key pair. Here I can see where it has been saved. This with dot pub is the public key and the one above is the private key. Um, in macOS systems, make sure to verify how to uh, define the correct folder where to put these keys. Now let's have a look at these keys. I will open up my file manager. As you can see, I have no uh, .ssh folder because my folders, uh, my hidden folders are not shown. So let's switch to um, the visibility of these folders. Here we can find .ssh and here we find our newly generated keys. This is the key that I will share with the VPS provider or copy to the user on my GNU slash Linux system to get access to it using uh, open SSH or secure shell in general. All right, everything worked as expected. So thanks a lot for joining me with the, for this tutorial. Have a good one and see you next time. Bye.